What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle True coming to you live and direct from the Battle True headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. We're going to talk about what's not going to happen in this Lux versus uh, Verb battle that's taking place on Gnome 9. One thing is not going to be, we're not going to have a repeat of what happened in the Lux versus Calico battle. That's not going to happen. That would not be a replay of that. Everybody watching now, we definitely on alert. When Calico went up against Lux, it was complete setup sabotage from beginning to end. From Lux making his appearance to the courtroom, courtroom, to Lux making his appearance to the stage, main stage, with the caskets and 50 some people on stage with him, to going over the limit of, of, of the rounds, to using all the type of projectors and things like that. Having people uh uh having people attacking Calo Calo Calico while he rapping um heckling him while he rapping no we going we gonna make sure this stuff is fair down the middle you gonna approach the stage the same way verb approach the stage you ain't doing nothing different you ain't finna come split the crowd through the middle like you Mayweather or some type of champ, that's not going to happen. You will stick to the rules that was agreed upon in the contracts. You're not going to get 10, 30 minutes uh, uh, around. Whatever the rounds say in contracts from three to five minutes, that's what you're going to stick to, period. You're not getting nothing extra because he always wants something extra. Y'all remember when he was going up against Charlie Cliff? <laughs> And they were doing the coin flip. And Charlie Clips called Tails. I think, and it landed on Tails. <laughs> Lux run around telling him, God here. God here. You know what it is. It's God here. They flipped the coin. Clips won the coin toss. Then they wanted to flip it again <laughs> for Lux. Clips like, man, what you doing? I won. I, I won that. Y'all talking about flipping it again, and I already won the coin talk. Now we got to flip it again. you look like, you know what it is? This Harlem. You know what it is? You know how Harlem do? You know what we do down here in Harlem? God here. God here. <laughs> then Cliff say this. Man, y'all give him everything, man. He coming all through the crowd, man. Then he got to flip the coin. He got to flip it again because he lost. Y'all giving him everything. Yeah, remember Cliff said that? He always wants special privileges. Anything to give him the leverage and edge. We watching now. That ain't going to happen. We're going to make sure Smack called this one right. We're going to make sure Smack them is fair and right. This will not be a repeat of Calico and Lux. Not at all. We're going to get exactly what we supposed to be getting. A fair battle for both MC down the middle. You ain't getting nothing extra. Your time minute for your rounds, you're going to be held accountable for that, and that's it. You ain't getting no, use no extra props that's illegal to battle rap. It's not going to happen. We ain't going to allow these, thing, these things to happen. You're not going to be getting on stage with 50 some people on stage with you too. It's going to be the agreed number for both sides, period. Because that's the stuff he like to do. He like to do that extra stuff. And we're not going to do that. This will not be a repeat of what you did, man. Because I'm keeping it real. Man, a lot of people don't want to keep it real. If he rap only three minutes, he lose that battle to Calico. I'm keeping it real. He lose them first two rounds. He 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 the loss. Them first two rounds was losses out out the gate. If he only got to rap three minutes, like Calico was, he lost both them both them two rounds. Done, done, done in the bag. But he got away and he get all the credit for it, even though they broke all the rules. We're not going to replay that like that this time. I'm talking about, man, <coughs> they worship this man. I'm talking about they really, really worship this man. They they, they, they let this dude get away with everything. Nope. We got the microscopes on you now. A lot of us are aware of what happened and took place on that Summer Madness 2 platform. We will not let that thing happen again. Not on our watch. 
Not on our watch. We're going to call this one fair down the middle. You ain't getting nothing extra at all. That's why I even, I even like the fact it's not even in New York. It's on neutral turf. For both MCs, it's on neutral turf. So it ain't no home court advantage for neither MC. And I like that better because I believe that everybody that's going to be there is going to be there just to see a good battle. And I don't think one person going to have the advantage over the other person. Yeah, I do to some degree, Bird, because he used to it. Lux not. <coughs> this just another, this just another, uh, 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 another day at the job for Bird. This something entirely different than Lux for Lux, entirely at all. So that leverage for Bird, man. Um, Smack man. I'm just keeping it 100 with you, man. We got to make sure this one get done right. And all them spectators who be uh, front and center on stage, man, when they doing all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? You got to have that under control, man. Make sure that time limit is under control, too. And make sure all them people on there trying to be too extra. Make sure that's under control, man. You know, we should be able to see a good battle. Because I will say this about Verb and Lux, man. Both of them brothers, professionalism, man, is the top of the line when it comes to battle rap. They both, man, they never been known for doing nothing extra on stage. They understand what comes with battle rap. And even though they have a dis a disliking toward one another, it's still a respect thing for both them brothers. They both they both of them got excellent sportsmanship. So when they on stage and they rapping, the other one going to let the other one rap without interfering. And that's, that, that's what I like about how this battle going to be. It ain't going to be none of that extra stuff. Both of them brothers going to come at each other head. Whatever material they going to say, we going to hear it. They ain't got, neither one of them never been known for having hype men behind them to the most part. You know what I'm saying? They just let their talents and Give speak for themselves, and that's what I like about this battle. This is exactly what I'm going to like about this battle. Is that um, it's just gonna be them two together, no interference, no interference from neither person. You know what I'm saying? And we should get a good battle. We should get a good battle out of this. We just want to set the rules clear out the gate. And I'm telling you, you are real, them man. Y'all got to have that stuff understood before the battle. I have seen so many times. Where it seemed like these brothers only understanding the rules the night of the battle. No. Where they on stage. No. They should know that stuff right now immediately and have no gripes whatsoever about what's supposed to be taking place the day of that battle, man. When they on that stage, they both should know they, they situation. And whoever the timekeeper is, he should be on point. He should be on point. And having anybody on stage... Like I said, man, Jazz and Queen Flip, man, more so Jazz. Like I said, Queen Flip, he ain't really been going to battle, but he might be at this one, man. But I'm telling you, man, if y'all on that stage, man, man, have respect for the, both MCs, man. No gassing, man. It's okay to react, but not none of that super reacting and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. Um... And I like Jazz to be doing. She just be too extra. Jumping around like she finna fall to her knees. Like she about to throw up and can't hardly breathe. That stuff be crazy, man. We not doing that, man. We not doing that. Just adding gasoline to the fire. So with that being said, let's just make sure the rules are in play, man. And they are enforced for everybody, man. And... It's a set number of people in the entourage you can bring with you and have on that stage as backup. But that's what I like about Verb and Lux. I will say this. This is the number one thing I like about this battle. The battle rappers that they are. As good as they are, they don't do nothing extra. They respect the platform. They know what battle rapping is. They're going to let, let you get yours off without interfering. And they both real professional, man. So I love that about them two guys. I can't, I can't even front. 
I definitely like that about them, and that's what's going to make this battle even better. And we're going to hear everything, and it shouldn't be nothing extra. As long as the rules is understood and enforced, it shouldn't be nothing extra, man. Um, with that being said, this is your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth, man. Luxembourg going down in Houston, Texas, man. Gnome 9, man. Um... Let's just have a clean, let's have a clean battle, man. None of this extra stuff, man. Let all the rules be fair for both MCs, man. Just, just the number one thing is just making sure the time, the time is understood. Because Luxton got away with that stuff too many times. You know, but according to Lux, it's supposed to be three minute rounds, so everything is fair. So I really got, I really, I I really got verb. All that play in his favor. I got verb, man. Three minute rounds, and I got verb. Uh, and he out, he out of town. You know what I'm saying? Lux ain't familiar with that. I gotta rock with verb, man. And this your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.